Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas The Definitive Edition. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the illegitimate business achievement, and the description is export all three car lists. So, first of all, to unlock the import and export lists, you will have to do the Wang Cars side missions business. And to unlock the Wang Cars side missions, you will have to do the driving school. I've got videos on both of those and I will link them at the end of the video or in the description below. Then you want to head over to the docks where I am when I pulled up the map at the start. And then there'll be a chalkboard with various cars on it and these three sets of 10 cars to do. So the way the video is going to work is I'll pull up the map, show the location of where I am and then show me getting into the car. And then I'll just move on to the next one. I'm not going to bother showing you my journey back to the docks every single time obviously all you've got to do is get the car back to the docks get in the crane pick up the car drop it on the boat and it will tick it off the list and then you just do that for each vehicle i'm going to show you the parked location for every single car every single car on these lists does have a parked location there is a few things to bear in mind so sometimes you might get to a location and the car might be locked. In this new definitive edition, I haven't found a way to break the car door off the car anymore. Um, it just won't happen. Um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you can break the doors off cars. So what you have to do is just leave the area and come back and nine times out of ten, the car will be unlocked out of the 30 cars only two of them are locked and when i left and returned they were unlocked straight away so it shouldn't be too much of a problem there's also the possibility that the car won't be there at all again just drive about a block away and then come back and the car should have spawned um just get far enough away for it to you know respawn stuff and you should be fine again this happened maybe two times out of the 30 cars where i got to the location and the car wasn't there I can assure you, these cars are in the locations and they will always be there. Um, if they're not there the first time, just leave and come back and they will eventually spawn there, I guarantee it. At first I was worried that the game, uh, that the new Definitive Edition had changed how the vehicles spawn or some of the locations, but it's not the case. These vehicles all spawn in the same locations and they will always be there. So there's nothing else for me to say. As you can see in the background, I'm just working my way through the cars. Um, as I said, there's 30 cars and I'm just pulling up the map of where I am, jumping in the car, driving it back to the docks and working my way through the list. So that's going to do it for this video. Drop me a like if it helped. This one did take a little while. Um, it is what it is. Good luck with the cars. I'm pretty sure it's a time consuming task, but it's not too bad. It's actually one of the more fun tasks in the 100% completion. If you are looking to 100% the game, which you probably are if you're here, I've got a video on every single side mission or miscellaneous task, which is required for 100%, including all the street races. Um, just every single requirement for 100% I've done a guide on. So check out the playlist if there's something that you're wondering about. I've also done a guide for all the achievements in the game. Some of the achievements uh, are not required for the 100%. There's some things you have to do that don't count towards 100% that you do get an achievement for. And I've also covered all those as well. So check out the channel if you're working your way through this game and you want the most efficient ways to do things. Um, as of now, I have 100% at the game. And after I've finished editing up these videos for this one, I'm going to be working my way through Grand Theft Auto 3 next and then Vice City after. So stick around if you're working your way through the trilogy like I am. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by and I will see you in the next one.